Welcome to your beginner lower body workout. This workout today is going to target the complete lower body. We are gonna hit the quads, the hamstrings, the glute muscles. We're gonna hit the inner, the outer thighs, and also your calf muscles. Now, the only thing you need for this workout will be your dumbbells. If you do not have dumbbells, you can modify by using cans. You can modify by using books. You can get creative in that area just something that's gonna add some resistance. However, if you have a resistance band, I'm gonna show you the option if you are using a resistance band as well. So I have the closed loop, but if you have the open band with the handles or without the handles, those will work perfect as well. Now I will also offer modifications during this workout for some of the exercises with a chair. So if you have a, a chair nearby and you wanna have that handy just in case you'd like to use that modification, grab that now. And also the other modification you can do with this workout is no resistance at all. So don't use dumbbells, don't use your band, just use body weight and you will still get an amazing workout. So for this workout, we are gonna get right into this. We're gonna start with the warm up. As we do the warm up, I'm gonna explain how everything will go. And I just wanna say, I am so excited that you are starting this journey. Strength training, resistance training, it is so amazing for you and it will make a huge difference if you are consistent with it. So starting here is awesome and I wanna thank you for joining me. So with that said, let's get right into our warm up. So first, th first things first, we just wanna warm up the lower body. So just start marching it side to side here with a little bend in the knee getting the joints warm, getting the muscle warm. The heart rate is gonna come up a little bit, but our goal is really to get those muscles and joints warm. Getting a warm up in is so important to maximizing your workout. It's really gonna help you make the most of it. Good. We're gonna do a few more here, and then we will go into a wide sumo squat in three, two, and one. So turning those toes out, legs wide, we're just gonna go very slow down and back up, so slow. You don't have to go too low here, and back up. Breathing, working our way through this. Good, and up. So we don't wanna hold any of the stretches during our warm up. Holding stretches is all for the end, for that cool down. Right now we're doing more of a dynamic where we work through the stretch while we continue moving. Good, and as you go into these, you can start to take it a little bit lower here if you can, good. We're gonna do two more, here's two. And last one, and up, good. Now we're just gonna bring in our knees to our chest, so hold it for a second, and then back down. Bringing it up, getting the hips warm, getting those quads warm, and breathing. I'm telling you what, strength training has made such a difference in my life that when I get to do a beginner class, it makes me so happy knowing that you can have the same transformation that I did. So I am so glad that you are here taking this serious, making it count. Two more, here's two and one. Good, now we're gonna bring our heels to our bum. So we're just gonna march it up. Again, warming up the hip flexors a little bit with this move, the quads. You can sink it down again. Breathing. Good. Next, we're gonna do good mornings. In five, four, three, two, and one. So for a good morning, hands on your hips. We are just going to hinge here at the hips. Slight bend in your knees. So we're gonna bring it down and up. Squeezing the glutes, you can feel this down your hamstrings. Good. Think about those hamstrings pulling you back up down, almost there, three more, here's two, and one. Last thing we're gonna do, hip circles, so keep those legs out a little wider than shoulder width, we're just gonna bring it around one direction, and then we're gonna take it on the other way. I always think of SpongeBob in this, when he says, bring it around town, bring it around. That's Yes, I am talking about SpongeBob. All right, we're gonna switch directions. Last time here, one side may flow a little bit more than the other. I find that for myself. This side is like, it's like making a square instead of what should be an oval. Good, three, two, and I'm gonna show you our first exercise. 
and one. So for each exercise, we're gonna work 30 seconds and then we're gonna get 30 seconds of rest. We have a total of six exercises that we'll work through. We'll go through each exercise two times, but they'll be separated by each round. So with that said, our first exercise is a Romanian deadlift. Again, optional, no dumbbells, but if you're using those dumbbells, we're gonna hold on to them, hinging at the hips, slight bend in the knee. We're gonna keep that weight close. We're gonna lower down, back flat, and we're gonna pull back up. That's our first exercise. Grab your weights, grab your bands if you're using those, and let's do this. All right, we're going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Good, squeeze, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the hamstrings, that whole posterior chain right now we are working. That is your backside. And squeeze, good. Keeping a slight bend in your knee. Exhale here as you squeeze back up. Five seconds. And squeeze, good. Awesome, next exercise is going to be a calf raise. So that's gonna look just like this. Feet are right about shoulder width apart. We're gonna lift, hold it for a second, and lower. So coming up onto your toes and lowering, you will see that modification with the chair if you're gonna use that. But we go in just about 10 seconds, breathing. Now I am gonna walk you through form and I want you to really think about that mind-muscle connection as well so you can make the most out of your time. Your time is valuable, so make the most of it. If you showed up, we're gonna make it count. And keeping proper form, full range of motion, that is all so important in your workout. Squeeze. Good, hold it for a second. Feel that lower leg contract and then control it back down. Good, few more seconds, five seconds. Here's two and one. Awesome, this next exercise is going to be a stationary lunge. We're gonna work unilaterally. We're gonna work one leg and then for that next exercise, we're gonna work the other. So it's gonna look just like this. If you're using the dumbbells, you can keep those around your legs or you can bring them up on your shoulders, whichever is more comfortable, but this is what it's gonna look like, just like this. So again, you can see the modification with the chair, but we go in five seconds. So get ready, get into position, let's begin. So think about making a 90 degree angle with your knee in front and in back as well but only lower down so low as you can with time. This will get easier and you'll be able to lower down just a bit more. Keep your chest up though. Awesome, over halfway. Weight is in the heel and your front leg. Five seconds, breathing. Here's two and one. Awesome, shake it out. Breathing, we're just gonna switch sides. Going in 20 seconds. Anytime you need to set your weights down, grab a drink to dry off, make sure to do so. Whew. We're working big muscles in the lower body. So you will feel that heart rate get up a little bit. May even start to perspire a bit. Whew. Breathing. So opposite leg now is in front, same exercise. So I want you to still focus on that form, keeping your chest up, roll the shoulders down and back, and let's begin. Down and up, squeeze, good. Working the quad in this exercise as well as the glutes and hamstrings. This is an awesome compound exercise. And squeeze, good. Breathing, we're gonna bring it onto the ground next for a glute bridge. That's gonna be in five, four, three, two, and one, awesome. Bring it on down to the mat. Bring your dumbbells if you are using those. Now for this exercise, you can use one dumbbell right across your hips. You can use two, one on each side, or no weight at all. Let me show you what this exercise looks like and then we'll get right into it. So heels planted, shoulder blades planted in the mat, pressing through the heels. We're gonna lift, squeeze, and lower. So join me now, here we go. Exhale as you lift, keeping your knees in line with your toes. Make sure your knees aren't falling out or in in this move. That can bother your knees if that happens. So just focus on form here. Squeeze at the top for a second and then control it back down. 
Good, squeeze. And up, almost there. Last one, hold it, three, two, one and bring it down, awesome. Set your weights off to the side and we're gonna bring it back up to finish round one out with a squat. So bring it on up. So for this squat, if you, again, modify with no weight, you can do that. If you are using weight, we're gonna grab that now, bringing it up, getting into position. It's gonna look just like this, down and up, keeping the weight in your heels. Here we go and squeeze. Get that little squeeze here at the top as well. Again, maxim maximizing each exercise, each rep we do, we wanna get the most out of it. Down and squeeze. Keep your core engaged. This workout is flying by. We are almost through round one. And we've got less than 10 seconds. Squeeze, good. Down and up. Last one, down and up. We have got a minute to recover. So we're gonna talk about how round one went. We are done with round one. We are gonna do all of those exercises again, same order. Now I'm gonna ask you how you did with your weight. The way you know you're picking the correct weight is by the last two, three, four reps, it should feel very challenging. Almost as if like, whew, if I were to keep going, don't know if I could get another one up by the time that timer is up. So as you're beginning though, this takes time to figure out. So don't get frustrated if you're like, that was too heavy, that was too light. That's okay, you're gonna have another chance to go at it again, but just something to keep in the back of your mind. This is all, this is like, a, this is a learning process. I feel like, I've said it, I feel like it's like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It's like, this one's too warm, this one's too cold, this one's too hot. So you just gotta find that sweet spot and it takes some time. We're gonna go right back in to our Romanian deadlift. So grab your dumbbells and let's get right, if you're using those, and let's get right back into this. Here we go. Down, keeping that weight close, back flat, squeeze. Lower only as far as you can here. Once you start feeling that stretch in the hamstrings, you're gonna stop and you're gonna pull back up. Pulling with the hamstrings and glutes. Hinging only at the hips, but you've got a slight bend in the knee. Down, last one here, and squeeze it back up. Whew, awesome, calf raise is gonna be next. Again, working the lower part of our leg now. I feel like this muscle sometimes gets ignored. <laughs> you know, I don't know, I, um, for a while, when I first started, I was, this was years ago, I would always skip the calf muscle. And they're so important, they make a huge difference. <sighs> All right, but we gotta go. We've got three, two, and one. Here we go. Lift, hold it for a second, and lower. Finding your own tempo here, working at your own pace. And up, good. Over halfway. Lift and down, awesome. We are going into that stationary lunge again, so we're gonna work one side and then the other. Going in about 20 seconds. Grab a drink, dry off if you need to, shake it out. I like this exercise too because with the lunge because it's really, well with the calf raise as well, it's working on our balance as well. So that's super important to really help you go heavier with your strength training is balance as well. So we're gonna go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Down and up. And if you have a mirror to check your form out, make sure you do that as well. It really does help sometimes to see what you are doing. Good, weight is in the heel in your front leg. And press. Hey, last time for each of these exercises. So let's really focus, let's really make it count. You are so close. And last one, down and push, good. All right, last time for our lunge, we go in just over 20 seconds, shake it out. And I'm gonna challenge you, if you use, try to equal the weight. So if you work one weight on the right side, try to keep that same weight for the left side. 
We go in less than 10, so get into position. Make sure you've got your shoulders rolled down and back, away from your ears for this move. And let's begin. Keeping your chest up and down, good. And squeeze. With the lunge, it does take some time to figure out how close you need your leg or how far away. So don't be afraid to kind of move about and see what feels comfortable for you in this position as well. Because if you are too close or too far away, it's gonna challenge your balance. And one, good. Bring it on to the mat for our glute bridge now. We've got two exercises left. Are you kidding me? This is awesome. I am so happy you showed up for leg day. Friends don't let friends skip leg day and I will always be over here cheering you on for leg day. We go in 10 seconds, oh, breathing. Let's get ready. Remember, hold it at the top for a second, squeeze it, contract those glutes. Let's begin. 30 seconds, lift, squeeze, and lower. Hold it. Make sure your knees aren't falling in or out. Keeping that weight in your heels. If you're rocking onto your toes, you're gonna work the quad muscles more. And right now we really wanna focus on the glutes. Good, so you can even lift your toes up a little bit and make sure that the weight is in your heels. Squeeze and down, awesome. Bringing it up for our final exercise, which is our squat. So bring it on up. If you're using weight for this, grab that now. We go in about 15 seconds. Last exercise. <sighs> Breathing. That flew by, I am so glad you joined me for this. We are so close to the end. We go in five seconds, shoulders rolled down and back. Let's begin. And up, squeeze. Again, you can keep that weight up on your shoulders if that's easier. Down, press through the heels. Good. Almost there, five seconds. Let's do one last rep. Down and squeeze. Oh my, you are the bomb. Set your weights down. Breathe, grab a drink, and give yourself a round of applause because you made it. That was tough. That was our beginner lower body workout, and I just wanna thank you so much for joining me. Now, after each workout, it is so important to get a stretch. That's gonna help with muscle recovery. That is gonna help with the soreness the next day, and it's just awesome to help with your overall flexibility. So you will see a stretch I call it the dessert because it is really the tastiest bit of our main course here that we've just had. So make sure to grab that over there or I have a beginner upper body and abs workout that may interest you as well. So I will see you at either one of those. Thank you again and I love you.